The highway code is published by the Department for Transport and is licensed under the Open Government Licence version 3.0. For more information, click on the link in the description below. General Rules, Techniques and Advice for All Drivers and Riders, Rules 103 to 158. These will be read as separate sections for signals, stopping procedures, lighting, control of the vehicle, speed limits, stopping distances, lines and lane markings and multi-lane carriageways, smoking, mobile phones and satellite navigation. All of these sections should be read by all drivers, motorcyclists, cyclists and horse riders. The rules in the Highway Code do not give you the right of way in any circumstances, but they advise when you should give way to others. Always give way if it can help to avoid an incident. Signals Rules 103 to 106 Rule 103 Signals warn and inform other road users, including pedestrians, of your intended actions. You should always give clear signals in plenty of time, having checked it is not misleading to signal at that time. Use them to advise other road users before changing course or direction, stopping or moving off. Cancel them after use. Make sure your signals will not confuse others. If, for instance, you want to stop after a side road, do not signal until you are passing the road. If you signal earlier, it may give the impression that you intend to turn into the road. Your brake lights will warn traffic behind you that you're slowing down. Use an arm signal to emphasize or reinforce your signal if necessary. Remember that signaling does not give you priority. Rule 104. You should also watch out for signals given by other road users and proceed only when you are satisfied that it is safe. You should also be aware that an indicator on another vehicle may not have been cancelled. Rule 105. You must obey signals given by police officers, traffic officers, traffic wardens and signs used by school crossing patrols. Rule 106. Police Stopping Procedures If the police want to stop your vehicle, they will, where possible, attract your attention by flashing blue lights, headlights or sounding their siren or horn, usually from behind. Or directing you to pull over to the side by pointing and or using the left indicator. You must then pull over and stop as soon as it is safe to do so. Then switch off your engine. Other stopping procedures rules 107 to 112. Rule 107. Driver and Vehicle Standards Agency officers, DVSA officers, have the power to stop vehicles on all roads, including motorways and trunk roads. They will attract your attention by flashing amber lights either from the front requesting you to follow them to a safe place to stop or from behind directing you to pull over to the side by pointing and or using the left indicator. It is an offence not to comply with their directions. You must obey any signals given. Rule 108. Traffic officers have powers to stop vehicles on most motorways and some A-class roads in England and Wales. If traffic officers in uniform want to stop your vehicle on safety grounds, for example an insecure load, they will, where possible, attract your attention by flashing amber lights, usually from behind, or directing you to pull over to the side by pointing and or using the left indicator. You must then pull over and stop as soon as it is safe to do so. Then switch off your engine. It is an offence not to comply with their directions. Rule 109. Traffic light signals and traffic signs. You must obey all traffic light signals and traffic signs giving orders, including temporary signals and signs. 
make sure you know, understand and act on all other traffic and information signs and road markings. Rule 110. Flashing headlights. Only flash your headlights to let other road users know that you are there. Do not flash your headlights to convey any other message or intimidate other road users. Rule 111. Never assume that flashing headlights is a signal inviting you to proceed. Use your own judgment and proceed carefully. Rule 112. The horn. Use only when your vehicle is moving and you need to warn other road users of your presence. Never sound the horn aggressively. You must not use your horn while stationary on the road or when driving in a built up area between the hours of 11.30pm and 7am except when another road user poses a danger. Lighting Requirements Rules 113 to 116 Rule 113. You must ensure all side lights and rear registration plate lights are lit between sunset and sunrise. You must use headlights at night, except on a road which has lit street lighting. These roads are generally restricted to a speed of 30 miles per hour or 20 miles per hour in Wales, unless otherwise specified. You must use headlights when visibility is seriously reduced. See rule 226. Night, the hours of darkness, is defined as the period between half an hour after sunset and half an hour before sunrise. Rule 114. You must not use any lights in a way which would dazzle or cause discomfort to other road users including pedestrians, cyclists and horse riders. You must not use front or rear fog lights unless visibility is seriously reduced. You must switch them off when visibility improves to avoid dazzling other road users. See rule 226. In stationary queues of traffic, drivers should apply the parking brake and, once the following traffic has stopped, take their foot off the foot brake to deactivate the vehicle brake lights. This will minimise glare to road users behind until the traffic moves again. Rule 115. You should also use dipped headlights or dim dip if fitted at night in built up areas and in dull daytime weather to ensure that you can be seen. Keep your headlights dipped when overtaking until you are level with the other vehicle and then change to main beam if necessary, unless this would dazzle oncoming road users. Slow down and if necessary stop if you are dazzled by oncoming headlights. Rule 116 Hazard Warning Lights These may be used when your vehicle is stationary to warn that it is temporarily obstructing traffic. Never use them as an excuse for dangerous or illegal parking. You must not use hazard warning lights while driving or being towed unless you are on a motorway or unrestricted dual carriageway and you need to warn drivers behind you of a hazard or obstruction ahead. Only use them long enough to ensure that your warning has been observed. This section of the Highway Code is about control of the vehicle, rules 117 to 126. However, the section on speed limits is long and has been moved to its own video. Braking, rule 117. In normal circumstances, the safest way to brake is to do so early and lightly. Brake more firmly as you begin to stop. Ease off the pressure just before the vehicle comes to rest to avoid a jerky stop. Rule 118. In an emergency, brake immediately. Try to avoid braking so harshly that you lock your wheels. Locked wheels can lead to loss of control. Rule 119. Skids. Skidding is usually caused by the driver braking, accelerating or steering too harshly or driving too fast for the road conditions. If skidding occurs, remove the cause by releasing the brake pedal fully or easing off the accelerator. 
turn the steering wheel in the direction of the skid. For example, if the rear of the vehicle skids to the right, steer immediately to the right to recover. Rule 120, Anti-Lock Braking Systems, ABS. If your vehicle is fitted with anti-lock brakes, you should follow the advice given in the vehicle handbook. However, in the case of an emergency, apply the foot brake firmly, do not release the pressure until the vehicle has slowed to the desired speed. The ABS should ensure that steering control will be retained, but do not assume that a vehicle with ABS will stop in a shorter distance. Rule 121 brakes affected by water. If you have driven through deep water, your brakes may be less effective. Test them at the first safe opportunity by pushing gently on the brake pedal to make sure that they work. If they are not fully effective, gently apply light pressure while driving slowly. This will help to dry them out. Rule 122, coasting. This term describes a vehicle travelling in neutral or with the clutch pressed down. It can reduce driver control because engine braking is eliminated. Vehicle speed downhill will increase quickly. Increased use of the foot brake can reduce its effectiveness. Steering response will be affected, particularly on bends and corners. And it may be more difficult to select the appropriate gear when needed. Rule 123, the driver and the environment. You must not leave a part vehicle unattended with the engine running or leave a vehicle engine running unnecessarily while that vehicle is stationary on a public road. Generally, if the vehicle is stationary and is likely to remain so for more than a couple of minutes, you should apply the parking brake and switch off the engine to reduce emissions and noise pollution. However, it is permissible to leave the engine running if the vehicle is stationary in traffic or for diagnosing faults.